My name is Peter Johnson. I'm a journalist. A few days ago, I decided to investigate an old abandoned factory. Claims of supernatural activity and ghost sightings have been very prolific on the internet. I began my investigation thinking I could easily debunk this one. But I was wrong. I've already seen things that go against all known signs and everything I, I thought I knew. I've tried to stay away since my first encounter, but I cannot. It's like something is calling me from deep down that stairwell, like a voice in the dark. As I enter the abyss, the abyss also enters me. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Let's Play Stairs. Now this is actually a really, really interesting uh, indie horror game that has been made and the developers of the game actually reached out to me so that I could play it themselves, but it's available to everyone. You can get it for free on Game Jolt. This is the alpha build, so remember this is pretty early in development, but you will see that it's far above and beyond like all the other normal indie horror games that I play besides Craven Manor and, uh, uh, oh man, I'm terrible with names, but there was another one that was really, really high quality, so I'm I'm actually pretty interested in playing this. And this isn't related to SCP-089 um, or whatever the stairwell one was. Just because it says stairs is the name of the game does not mean that they are that closely related. Or they are, and I have no idea. Either way, from what I saw in the screenshots, it's not just all about the stairwell. See? Here we are. Yeah. Told ya. Told ya. As you can tell... There seem to be some other things going on over here. Ski skies from. Can I go in here? Squeaky. Hello. Yes, you're gonna see from what I saw in the screenshots that this actually has tons of work put into it. And we are a paranormal investigator, apparently, who decided that it was a good idea to go into an abandoned factory. Maybe these abandoned factories are abandoned for a reason, but reason does not play a lot in these games. Chunk. Well, that's a little bit better. Not much, though. Are any dead space monsters gonna poke out of that vent over there? Okay, no. Alright. It's eerily quiet now. Some down there? No, okay. Can't quite see what I'm doing, and I don't really I have an code to open it. Oh, hey, buddy. How's it going? Need a code to open it? Alrighty then. Where are you gonna find a code? Can't open the lock. Oh. Everyone knows that bathrooms are a bad idea in horror games. No matter what horror game it is, no matter where it is, why it is there, bathrooms are a bad idea. So why is this one stall open? Is it the butt ghost again? Butt ghost? No? Is nothing gonna happen? Really? Huh. I really like the attention to detail that they put into this game. I mean, obviously, compared to some of the indie horror games I played, indie horror games, the the quality of the game itself is not that high. And I'm not talking about just the. Some door codes. Oh. Could be very useful. Yes, it could. Nice camera. Hey, touche. Nice, nice little touch there. At least it makes sense that I'm able to grab stuff uh, from the environment. Okay, six one four one block. Yeah, you are here. Cool beans. All right, is there anything else in this? Room that I need? And yes, it's pronounced rum. Not rum. Not room. It's rum. God, get it right. Just kidding, everybody. I know people pronounce. Okay, the bathroom turned into an amalgamation of horror. <laughs> well, let's see what happened here. Oh, I bet it's gonna be fun. Oh, do you need some privacy, buddy? I'll just go away. Screw that! Ah! Open the door! I'm a monster! I was like, I would, I would love to play a horror game where I am the monster. There's actually a, a thing on Kickstarter right now where you do just that thing, but I would love to play one of those games. I think I'd be a great monster. Just a multiplayer game where you can haunt your friends. That is exactly the, uh... Get her! We're inside! Open the door! Get us out of here! Hello! Is anyone there? Open the door! 
I don't trust you. I bet you're not there. Oh, no. I just let out an unholy evil unlike the world has ever seen before. So I am here. There's a bunch of black squigglies that I'm assuming marks off areas where I cannot go. Man! The, these shelves! They're impenetrable! I would never be able to get through these! This is unreal! Okay. The challenge is insurmountable and I am thoroughly confound- It's been ages and no one's come down here yet. What are we going to do, guys? We just need to sit tight and wait. They'll <laughs> come get us when they realize we're gone. Who's talking? We could even be outside the door right now, just minutes from getting it open. We just have to wait. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Pricey, don't we have anything left to eat? No, nothing. Except... Each other? Except... Uh, nothing. Nothing? <laughs> yeah, nothing. Jacob, go check the kitchen again. Samuel and me will check the other door. Okay, that's no good, but it's starting to tell a really sinister story here. So the voices I heard were real, but just in the wrong time. And I don't like the look of these hallways here. Why am I here? Dum dum. Why am I down here? Which way do I go? That hallway does not look good. I'm not going down that way. No way, no hell. How? Hell. Hell. I'm in hell. What? Oh, it's a glowy thingy. Seriously, there's a, the amount of work in this game is really, really well done. This was made by a team of eight on the Unreal development kit, and, and most of the games that I've played on the Unreal Engine have been superb quality. It must be a... Like, I've never built any game myself. Looks okay. Like the exit door needs a fuse of its own to work. Yeah. Well, if I could find these fuses and get out, then why couldn't these guys? We need to do something, Samuel. What do you suggest, Isaac? There's nothing for us to do. Other than wait for help. Uh huh. And what if it doesn't come? What then, Samuel? Yes, yeah, Samuel. What if help comes, but it's too late, and we've already started? That's not gonna happen. They're gonna burst through the door. Get us out of here. I don't think so, buddy. I didn't you know, do much be bursting. Days, even weeks until they find us, and we have to stay alive till then. The both of us. What about Jacob? If we're going to live, we need to eat. And the only thing left to eat is Jacob. <laughs> oh, goody. All right, so we got a bit of a puzzle here. I'm guessing it needs to be pressed in a certain order. That's how these things usually go. Am I getting... No, they don't seem to be staying up lit. And I've tried a few combinations here. Um... No, okay, there may be some more... Oh, there's more over here, of course. Well, these don't seem to be powered. So, I'm guessing I don't need to be here right away, but hello. Oh, they open doors! I am here. I got you. Okay, TGS 07. Let's start with that one. That's the closest. Where'd my flashlight go? Thank you very much. Okay, so this door should be open, yes. Hello? Is anybody here? Is anybody gonna pop out at me? Because if you are, tell me before you do. So I can mentally prepare myself. Okay. Okay, this looks nice and cheerful. I love the way they redecorated this place. Could use a bit more blood, though. Just spattered all over the walls, windows, doorways, down the halls, maybe. Seems to be something glowy in there. I'll need something to open the valve. <laughs> I need a whole bunch of somethings. Don't tell me what I need. Because I need a brain for one. Did you find anything, Jacob? There's nothing here. I'm starting to think we aren't getting out of this place. No, no, you're not. Did you guys find anything? No, we no. found something. At least until rescue gets here. Oh, really? That's great. What is it? Yeah, Did it's you great. Have it with you? <laughs> we yeah. have it right here. Right behind my back. Isaac, that's just a knife. Hey, what's that over there? Jacob. And this whole nightmare will soon be over. <laughs> and then murder, and then death, and then. Giant balls of flame burning in hell. Okay, anyway. I was just pantomiming what was actually going on there. Hey, what's that over there? It seems to be glowing. I'll just look at it while someone sneaks up behind me with a knife. Okay, what do we got? A loose valve handle. Mm. Should be a vault to use it on somewhere. Cool, I think that goes to that thing that I saw before. So let's put this in 07. Shut up! This is so fucked up. What the fuck could we 
do this. We killed Jacob. So? And we ate him. Yeah? Isaac isn't going to stop. Unless I stop. Unless I kill him. Yeah. I can live. I have to live. Always Isaac a solution. Isaac has to die. Yeah, exactly. Duh! You can't kill Isaac! Isaac's too smart for you. You? What the hell was that? <laughs> was that in my headphones or not? These are high quality headphones, so sometimes I can't tell. Sound plays such a crucial role in horror games. Perhaps I can use this to turn on the power and open some doors. Okie dokie. Is this guy Swedish? I don't know if the developers are from Sweden land. So anyway, there's this Isaac guy and whatever the other guy's name is. I don't really care or know. So either way, they're all murdering each other, but I bet there's one left. I bet there's still one left. Oh boy. These electronics are practically ancient. Yes. I hope they still work. Cause you know how those archaeologists build up dig up ancient electronics all the time. Okay, what's the next nearest door? I've already got six and seven done. Looks like ten and five are in the next areas. Uh five leads to some ten leads just back. I don't know where ten goes, but the kitchen's over there and some question mark there, so Oh, I guess 10 would lead to... Well, no, I could get there anyway. Or could I? I have no idea, but I'm gonna try 6... Or 5. 5 and the 9 need to be put in the same time, I don't know how to get them. Anyway, well, let's just try 5 for now, maybe there's something in there. 5! Alrighty. So let's go out here. This way! Everybody follow me. Stick together, everybody! Hold hands if you need to. Hello. 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 <laughs> it's dark in here. See, this this is an example of how a horror game should be. Very slow to start. It shouldn't just be about boom, jump scare. That's not what makes a horror game scary. It's about the story has to be there. Horror games have to have a story even more so than other games because the environment and where you are in immersing yourself in what you're doing is so important to everything about a horror game. It's absolutely essential, and this game is doing an incredible job. I mean, for an alpha build, this is just damn fine work that they're doing here, so... Okay, let me open up ten. I don't know- Oh, I can get- Ah, oh, okay, okay, I can get nine. I can open all of them? I can open both nine and ten at the same time, I can just only open one of these at the same time. So let's open five, let's go through nine. Alright, let's see what we got. So far... Nothing seems to want to murder my face, but I'm guessing that once I get to that kitchen or the question mark area, things ain't gonna be so friendly. Actually, it all depends on when the alpha ends, because I hope it doesn't end too soon. This is, like, this is... What? Why? And I'm not gonna die for you. No! Hello? Hi. Anyone there? Yeah? Better run, Samuel. I don't wanna! Yes, I'm ah! <laughs> No, thank you! I don't want any! Are you some ethereal shadow? What are you? Ah, ah, I see eyes! Open door! Nope, okay. Oh, I'm trapped! Oh, fuck! Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back! Close the door! Close the door, door! Ooh, ooh, ooh. I didn't close it. I don't even know if I could. Which way do I go? Left! Which way do I go? Right! <laughs> okay, three here! In here? Why? Why did I come in here? This was a bad idea! Ah! Shadows! On the walls! Okay. We're gonna be fine, everybody. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine! We're just running from our doom as fast as we can. Is this qu question mark- Oh, no. Not another bathroom! What did I find? Hit him in the head! Die. Samuel. Bam, 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 bam! Bam, bam! Bam, 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 bam! bam. <laughs> Did I get him? <laughs> Did I get him good? I hope I got him good. I did, didn't I? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was cool. That was really cool. I really like that. <laughs> that was so well done. I love that. Oh man, this is this is really, really an awesome 
<laughs> an awesome game that they put together here. It seems to be pretty damn amazing. And I have a theory as to why it is called Stairs. It is called Stairs because there are multiple levels to this. If what they have, as I imagine, for the vision of the end game, there are going to be m multiple levels <laughs> of this factory that you have to go into. What is this? Oh, that's the kitchen. I don't want to be in there. They were cooking up some human gumbo. Mmm, -mm, that's good eating there, but uh, I think I'll pass. Oh, hello. I see one fuse. Just one. I need a total of six, if I recall. They look like eyeballs. Yes. Yes. This could get me out of here. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> These are new. Hey, oh man, mmm. Oh, I'm, I, I'm, I would eat, oh, but I'm so full from uh, eating that dirt outside. And uh, yeah, choice cuts. I mean, really, really supreme. I love that kidney there, but uh, <laughs> good, good. It's okay, that's nice. No. Or if you even care. No, I do not. I'm begging you to no. do this. No. This nightmare. No. And take me out of here. No. I will do anything. Just make it stop. No. Oh no, I've already been here. Nope, 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 nope. I don't care what you say, what you have to say, what you think you have to say. I'm not gonna listen to a word you say. I. I'm sick and tired of your bull. I'm not gonna take your bull anymore. But anyway... <laughs> it's just like, this is exactly what I've been talking about in all the other horror games. This is exact- Shit, shit, shit. Fuck, no, not now, it! <laughs> calm, Peter. Stay calm. Yeah? Am I Peter? Camera Was I- flash. Like, use the camera flash. Yeah! About that. <laughs> That's not a fun. What? What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! Boy! <laughs> Die! This is good. This is good. Oh, man. Oh, cool idea, but holy crap. Doesn't mean I have to like it. <laughs> Oh, what does it say? The strong do what they can, the weak suffer when they must. Oh man, that is a cool effect, I gotta say. A feast of bones. Oh, good golly. This is so cool! Nothing left. This so reminds me of the Cry of Fear opening, except I, I think this is a little well better done. This is a little, this is a little more well executed. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I hate the way in the shadows the blood glints. I was waiting for the walls to suddenly be ah, 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 to be covered with blood. My God, I don't even know which way I'm supposed to go. I guess I follow the blood and the words. Oh my God, this is horrible. Had to live. Uh, not like that, buddy. Not like that. Oh, there's no way to live. No way to live, my friendly. They have to come. Who does? Who? Who has to go where? We had to. We? It seems like only one guy is doing this horrible thing. Get out. I'm trying, buddy. Thanks for the encouraging words. <laughs> You're such a motivation to improve myself. Wait, I can't move. I can't move. What? Jesus Christ. Are you okay, sir? What? Who is that? Where are they? Why are they not here? Is that all a lie? That was a lie, wasn't it? That was a lie. But the eyeball and the thing thongy. Oh, come on. And then you, and then the game. 
It's just, you follow the stairs down and keep going into the abyss. Oh, man. I guess, do I go up or down? I'll go down. Because I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> oh, maybe I'm not. Oh, no. Yeah, the stairs suddenly end. I guess they didn't think that any sane person playing this game would keep going down. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, can't flash anymore. I can flash the camera. I didn't know. After this ordeal, I took some time to look up the case of Jacob Donner, Jacob Isaac Donner. Eddy, and Samuel Reed. Yar. Samuel survived his friends and was rescued. Yar. But he brought something with him from the darkness. Yar. Soon after he regained his freedom, Samuel Reed kidnapped and murdered an eight-year-old boy. Oh. Took his body down to the same shelter and ate him. Well. The authorities found him and he was sent to a mental hospital. Where he still remains. <laughs> this uh -huh. was five years ago. Yar. Well, <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking of him as a Swedish pirate, but man, that was something special. In case you noticed, obviously I didn't split this into two parts because it was so short, so in post I'm just gonna stitch them together. Screw all that other stuff that you heard. You probably didn't even hear it. I don't know what I'm gonna cut out yet, but this is all gonna be in one part. This was amazing. Extremely well done. Well executed. A perfect example of what horror should be. Takes itself completely seriously. Doesn't throw cheap jump scares at you. There was like one jump scare in that whole thing. And it, it fit because you expected when you're flashing in the darkness, something's going to pop out at you at some point down there. So much creepiness just soaked into the walls of that game. That was amazing. And it was just the demo. I would pay $10 or more for the full game. I would pay money. Depending on how long it is, I would gladly pay money for this game. The developers did an incredible job. Uh, go see the website in the link below. Uh, no, website. It's a link to Game Jolt. Um... Man, this is just extremely well done. It's what I say every time I play a game that doesn't live up to my standards. This is an example of what I mean and, and what horror should be. This is so well done. So play it for yourselves. Give it a try. I don't think I actually explored all the rooms there. I think there was more stuff that I could have uh, seen, maybe. I'm not exactly sure. But give it a try for yourselves. Try it. Put headphones on. Play it in the dark. Complete darkness. And so that random noise of your apartment or house just get to ya. So anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the annotations for more videos that I've done. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!